In this video, I want to explain the internal mappings uh, of every GGD library a little bit further. Um, I get a lot of questions about the different mappings we have at MIDI Remap for each library of GGD. For example, Modern Massive has three different internal mapping presets. Maybe you are collaborating with your bandmate or a producer and you both use the same library but different internal mapping or you use a different library and a different internal mapping. Um, yeah, or you simply open up an old project uh, and you realize a few months back you used a different internal GGD mapping and now you switch to a new one. Let's start from scratch here. If I open up Modern and Massive um, and the default setup, and I have a drum part programmed here in Modern Massive, which sounds something like that. Nothing special. Um, and I go to Settings, Mappings. Even, it's this, even though it's the same library, and I switch the internal Get Good Drums mapping, which by default is the helper mapping, which the current part is programmed in. Um, and I change this to, like, for example, GM, which stands for general MIDI, which is simply a standard for node values for drum libraries. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the GGD mapping. You see that now most drum parts have changed their value, meaning that the program part won't, can't work anymore. Let's listen to it. Yeah, some nice China part, but it's not the part I programmed. So let's look at this. Um, so I want to use the GGD mapping for Modern and Massive, not the default mapping. I simply take my part, export it as MIDI, call it uh, na, na, MM, Halpern. that's the current mapping. I then go to MIDI remap, choose my file. Here's the important part. I have a part which currently is programmed in Modern Massive and I use the default mapping helper for pro programming my drums. And I now want to use the same library, but with a different internal mapping. Load those presets. Now we can see that, for example, the helper mapping seems to have a node mapped to hi-hat loose sample, but the new GGD mapping doesn't seem to have that. Let's look at this. Let's look at the default mapping helper. High closed loose is mapped to C2. And the new internal mapping, GGD, yeah, height closed isn't mapped to any node. That's the difference between those internal mappings. So MIDI remap is smart enough to say, okay, I'm going to use height open one for the height loose. It's going to sound similar. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure we have the GGD mapping and it sounds like crap. Yes, it does. <laughs> Let's remove this. Let's use our new file. There we go. We changed internal mappings for GGD. I hope you got a little bit of understanding for the problems that exist because of those different internal mappings. It's not always that you want to switch from like superior drummer to get good drums, but maybe sometimes you want to switch from get good drums to get good drums. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.